Having a few cats on the farm likely brings you a lot more benefits than drawbacks. These felines tend to take certain matters into their own paws, keeping order where the order is due. If you're worried about the vermin population around your home and in your barn, cats are a hassle-free way to snuff this problem out. If you're looking to hire a feline farmhand to take on some responsibility, here are six of the best cats you can bring on board. Maine Coon Maine Coons were practically built for life in the wild. They have gorgeous, long double coats that protect them in the elements, so they're perfect for outdoor venturing. Female Maine Coons stay about the same size as ordinary house cats, maybe slightly bigger. However, males can get massive, weighing up to 20 pounds or more. These cats are built with heavy muscle, making them powerful and precise. These cats make excellent hunters, dominating the mouse population in your barn to bare bones. If you could use a cat around the place for a little extra protection, the Maine Coon has you covered. On top of being incredibly useful, these cats are also highly chill cats with relaxed and friendly personalities. Domestic long hair and short hair. Saying domestic long hair or domestic short hair is just a fancy way of calling an average cat with no particular bloodline or breed. You can find one of these variations just about anywhere, so it's a great opportunity to find a cat that needs a home from a rescue shelter. Because this isn't a breed but rather a mixed ape of genetics, they are inexpensive and easy to come by. People sell, give away, and rehome these cats all the time. Both domestic long and short hairs can be born in the same litter and have virtually any pattern or color. These cats can also drastically vary in personality. You never know just what you'll get. However, if they are survivalist minded, they will be able to take care of the mouse population in your barn or just give you some company while you're doing your duties. Japanese Bobtail Japanese bobtails are generally light, agile cats with very active personalities. Because of their sharpness and keen attention to detail, there isn't any unwanted guest in your yard or barn that won't be in danger. These kitties will take care of ground moles, mice, and even perching birds. These short-tailed cuties are typically very social, getting along with every barnyard buddy around. But since they are so rare and potentially expensive, you might want to have an outdoor-slash-indoor living situation to protect your cat from potential predators at night. Japanese bobtail cats have very playful, fun-loving personalities. So, if you come out to entertain these cats, you will be met with enthusiasm and willingness to interact. If you have kids, this is really a terrific option, as they are loving and peppy. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Siamese Cats Siamese cats are one of the oldest cat breeds, and arguably one of the most recognizable. Luckily, even though they're pretty expensive when you buy from a breeder, they can be relatively inexpensive otherwise. There are tons of Siamese and Siamese mixes at rescues and shelters everywhere. Siamese cats are notorious for being highly vocal animals. So, it wouldn't be unusual to get a greeting on your way to your car or when you're out feeding your barnyard buddies. On top of their quirks, Siamese cats are phenomenal hunters. They are highly alert, active, and agile. You won't have much of a rodent problem with one of these guys around. Self-sufficient and born to thrive, the Siamese is hardy and useful on the farm. Feral cats. Feral cats have been around the block a time or two, and they know exactly what is up. If you have no desire to start a relationship with this cat other than feeding, we highly suggest feral cats. They can come in any color, size, pattern, and weight within cat parameters, essentially. If you or someone you know traps a feral cat, they might run off before they acclimate to the farm, there is always that risk. They don't mind an all-business relationship. Even if your feral cats travel nomadically, which is completely common, especially if they aren't fixed, they will usually stop by every few days. It's completely normal not even to see them for a week or two. Pixie Bob Pixie Bobs actually got their start on a farm, having a barn cat mother. So, they already have feral roots. These kitties resemble their wild cousins, the bobcat. Even though it isn't scientifically feasible that they are part bobcats, it's still fun to imagine. These cats are typically sensational hunters. They blend in well with the outdoors, too. They don't stick out like a sore thumb because of their very neutral coloring. Even more exotic colored pixie bobs maintain a modest tone. You will have a buddy around the barnyard, too. These kitties are very gentle and agreeable with people and animals alike. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.